So you clicked on this video to see what kind of hidden features, interesting Easter eggs does your Tesla Model 3 or Y have? Well, in this video, don't worry, I have you covered as I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the funny bits that there is to know that you can surprise your passenger with so you could also get some good enjoyment out of your Tesla while you torture them or surprise some guests that are walking by your vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and cover all that and more. So let's go ahead and get started. So just like the classic Halo 3 days, this thing is loaded with a bunch of Easter eggs. And one of the most funniest ones or coolest ones in my opinion is the charging port. When you charge your Tesla, that little button right there on the handle, if you tap on it 10 times, it will then toggle the RGB rainbow effect and it just begins flashing these rainbow colors as you're charging. Now the next Easter egg can be found inside the Tesla. If you go on your display and click on the vehicle icon and you go where you can name your vehicle, if you enter 42, you'll notice that your car is now named Life, the Universe, and everything. This is a funny reference to some type of show back in the day. Another funny Easter egg that you can find in here is if you rename your vehicle into Patsy. It plays this weird foot sound, but not only that, if you go into your theater, you also get, you have a new Mighty Python section. When you click on this, it'll just take you to the YouTube page where it'll reference that little gag that it has going on. Commands, now Tesla commands, you can do a lot with the Tesla commands. Not only can you change the dome light to automatic or turn off in general, but there also is some Easter eggs here as well. If you say the sentence, my butt is code, it'll toggle your heated seats. And then if you watch Rick and Morty, if you say the sentence, keep summer safe, this will quickly enable sentry mode. Sentry mode basically will allow the vehicle to record anything or anyone that gets near your vehicle automatically start recording and will show this red eye looking display, letting whoever is approaching your vehicle, giving them that creepy computer vibe of iRobot, but showing that they are being recorded. Another funny Easter egg you could say is if you say the sentence, ho, 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 this will toggle the Santa Claus mode, which will change your Tesla into a sled. And when you're navigating, you'll notice around you, all the vehicles are reindeers. In addition to that, Tesla is the only vehicle or any manufacturer really, that will allow you to actually run multiple Easter eggs at once. So if you'd like to, you can change your map to Mars. So now you're slaying through Mars and you can see your Rover right there. Unfortunately, the Rover map doesn't move as or leave a trail as you drive that would have been cool tesla if you're listening allow that update where the rover will actually leave trail marks on mars that'll be really interesting and pretty dope i think and then hey somewhat inappropriate one if you say the sentence open butthole this will open up your charge port so there's that now activating rainbow roads this can be toggled once you enabled autopilot if you tap this column four to five times, this will immediately play more cowbells, which unfortunately you cannot turn off. If you look at your minimap, you are driving on a rainbow road. Not sure if this is referencing Mario Kart, but nonetheless, still is a fun little Easter egg to show your passengers. Now, this is my favorite Easter egg. Uh, if you go and tap on the little arrow icon, and where it typically will say call, if you tap and hold, you can swap this to Ahoy Hoy. I personally like having it on a hoi hoi because whenever, because it just sounds, it, it sounds funny. Come on, a hoi hoi, come on. <laughs> Who says that nowadays? Uh, if you guys leave a hoi hoi in the comment section, I'm gonna flip. Now, this one's challenging to catch, but if you would happen to charge your Tesla when it has only 121 miles, I, it's hard for me to recreate this because 121 miles for me to be next to a charging station, it's kind of hard. But if you do catch your Tesla at 121 miles and you plug it in, if you launch the Tesla app, you can actually toggle this, which is basically a back to the future reference. Unfortunately, it's always gonna switch to a Model X apparently, but this is a back to the future reference. Now the next section, the majority of these Easter eggs can be found in your toolbox. No longer do you have to tap and hold on the Tesla logo on your touchscreen as that is now gone. Everything is primarily here. And one of the big important ones to definitely know about is the boombox. Boombox basically allows you to substitute your horn with other sounds. So if you enable preview and you tap on replace horn, all these horns that you have here, you can select and change and preview them and see if you like them. Now, if you do enable replace horn when you're driving, that basically is your horn. But what it does is basically, here, I'll show you the video. Toss a coin to your witcher. So yeah, that will say witcher reference, but 
as you heard, the normal horn will still honk, so you could follow street standards, and then followed by the toss a coin to your witcher or la cucharacha if you want to switch it to that. I had it on a cucharacha one time, a car cut me off, I honked, and then that got me by surprise that I was laughing, and the car that cut me off was also laughing as well. <laughs> so, yeah, it kind of backfired, or I don't know. It just, it's funny, that's what I'm saying. It catches you by surprise if you forget you enable this. Now, another cool thing you can do here on Boombox is, just like the title says, you can let, basically allow it to play whatever current audio you're listening to inside the vehicle, outside using those external speakers. So as you're driving around, you can literally play your jams. And then, if you want to, you can also replace the sound of the car itself in general like with this enabled as you're driving it will actually play that sound unfortunately it take turns off the music inside the vehicle so all you hear is your external speakers of you moving and you could take this to the next level as you can actually get a flash drive and and store some mp3 files and you can actually select some of these and what i've done i made it sound like a gtr don't recommend doing this but this is how that sounds like you can download and add more sound files to your flash drive to allow your vehicle to play other sounds and noises, including the horn and such. Now, if you like a funny way to surprise your passengers in the emission tab, here you could play fart noises on all four seats, excluding the center row seat, unfortunately. But here you could play sounds to your passengers. You could leave it random where it will just randomize all the fart noises that you see right here on this list but in addition to that if you want to spook somebody from the outside you can always just tap the exterior of the vehicle and it will actually play a fart noise using those external speakers i told you about so it sounds like this yes this will definitely catch people off guard and then if you wish to you can also enable this so the scroll wheel on the left side if you tap down you could toggle the fart noise on demand so you don't have to have that menu open up. And one that definitely always shocks me is that you can also replace your turn signals. So instead of the standard clicking sound, the bink sound when you have your signal on, it's just a fart and it sounds like this. And it gets me every single time, especially when I'm driving on the freeway. Mm. Now, if you want to get cozy, this is one of my favorite features. You could always just enable this, let it get cozy. And if you notice, your AC will then start blasting hot air to give you that warm campfire vibe. And if you tap on the screen one more time, well, it plays mood music. So you could get really romantic. I'm still curious how many of you guys in the comment section actually went ahead and done this. I'll be honest, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it in the car. Other than that, here you can find other cool things to do like Sketchpad. This is the uh, Mars where you go in and enable or disable this. If you want to replace your GPS screen, your navigation screen with just a Mars surface. And then if you go to the Jingle Jangle, here you have two options. Not only can you enable this, but you can also enable it so that it plays sound outside the vehicle. So if you want to spread the jingle joy, you can play that sound outside the car as well. And it sounds like this. Well, there you guys have it. Hope you had a blast. Hope you got some good laughter out of this video as well. I did, even while making this video. And I hope you did too. If you learned something new, found some creative way to torture your passengers, I would greatly appreciate if you could actually leave this video a like as this will help me out a lot. I just enjoy covering like random tech videos like this that allows you to get the most out of your device, even in the most bizarre way possible. If you wish to see more, want to know what my review of my Tesla Model Y performance has been like, check out this video over here. So I covered my first month owning that vehicle with already driven 2K miles. And in that video over there, I cover all the best settings to adjust so you can really get the most out of your Tesla. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.